Yo, what's up guys? Today I have game two of my Ubers uh, open round one versus Zoroark Forever. You can't tell my voice, I'm actually sick. Uh, you probably could tell just because it's deeper than usual. I don't have the deepest voice. But uh, yeah, I my fever's gone. So I decided, you know, might as well narrate a battle. My voice is a bit hoarse. Hoarse. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game, and let's get right into it. So I'm leaning off my Diaga as he ends up leaning off with his Landers T. I'm a Life Orb Diaga, and I'm able to one-shot his Landers T. That means no Stealth Rocks for him this entire battle, which is going to be huge. So and to go out to Klefki, I don't really mind that I'm minus two because I can still get up my Stealth Rocks right here as he ends up getting up his spikes, and Fire Blast will still be around the two at KO, even at minus two. Diaga is just a powerhouse right here. So I'm gonna go for another Fire Blast as uh, he ends up switching out into his Arceus Water. I'm actually gonna switch out into my Klefki because I don't want this thing to be like a combine refresh set. I know that at plus one, Klefki can take a Judgment. So I'm actually gonna go for a Spike first, just wanting him to go for the uh, Judgment right here and be pressured to two at KO me. So I'm gonna go for Thunder Wave right here just because, like I said, I don't want him uh, going for refresh and by going for thunder wave i get the immediate switch into my gengar which will ensure that i outspeed him and uh, figuring he would fear the uh destiny bond i'm actually going to mega evolve and go right for focus blast predicting some sort of switch as he ends up going on to his zekrom and because palki is basically uh the member on my team that doesn't help me at all uh simply because it doesn't have thunder so i wouldn't be able to knock out the arceus water after hazards which means he could potentially get off a refresh and uh sweep my team I decided that I would sack Palkia to this Zekrom right here as uh, he ends up going right for Outrage. I do have Arceus Ground though which can tank one Outrage as uh, he is Scarf and I can go right for the Earthquake and knock him out. But now that gives him a free switch into his uh, Mewtwo and I definitely don't want to switch out into my Veltal because Ice Beam is more than likely coming. If he wants to go for Psy Strike that's fine too as he doesn't go right for Psy Strike. But now I do have a Veltal I can bluff the uh, Sucker Punch and actually go right for Taunt predicting him to want to switch out into either Klefki or Ferrothorn as uh, Ferrothorn ends up coming out. And a taunt to Ferrothorn is basically a free switch for Dialga. So I'm going to pull the switch into Dialga as he ends up going for Gyro Ball. That's basically the best hit he could hit me with. And I'm actually going to go for Draco Meteor predicting him to uh, want to switch out into something that could take the uh, Fire Blast. Honestly, I predicted him to switch out to Arceus Water. That way he could try and pivot around this Dialga. Maybe switch out into Klefki or uh, Ferrothorn on the Draco, etc, etc. Either way, Draco was definitely my best play. As uh, now he's able to go out into his Mewtwo. He can Revenge kill me with the Ice Beam. Veltal at full HP cannot be knocked out by Ice Beam. So I'm going to go right for the foul play. As uh, I am a stall breaker of Veltal, physically defensive, which is why I don't have like Oblivion Wing, Dark Pulse, etc, etc. As he ends up going out to his Klefki. He goes for Thunder Wave. Um, not too worried about that, especially because Play Rough is really doing nothing to me. As I can knock him out with the foul play after that. And Ice Beam for Mewtwo actually does not knock out uh, a Veltal at this range of HP. So I'm going to get paralyzed right here. I figured I would be able to outspeed his Ferrothorn just because they usually run zero speed IVs when they are running Gyro Ball. He uh, makes a bit of a misplay in my opinion. Ends up going right for Gyro Ball. Probably expecting me to want to switch out into my Gengar right there. But it doesn't really matter because I can taunt him in the following turn and then get the free switch in the Mega Gengar. Now, even though Gyro Ball is probably powered up just because he's running zero speed IVs, I count that uh, Gyro Ball's max damage to my Mega Gar is about 82%. I was at 84, so even if he gets max damage, he can't knock me out. And because he is taunted, I can go right for Destiny Bond, and uh, basically, he's forced to attack me. So, Ferrothorn does end up going down, and now I can go right out to my Veltal, and it basically comes down to, will I get paralyzed right here, as this Ice Beam Moon does 65%. So... I don't end up getting paralyzed, and I am able to knock him out with the foul play. So yeah, good game, Zorak Forever. Really close, came down to the wire. Uh, I'm on to round two of Uber's Open. I'm actually on to round three, I believe. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I'll probably be streaming later just because I'm going to be home since I'm not going out, uh, especially because it's kind of cold out. So yeah, like I said, leave a like if you enjoyed, and until next time, guys, later.